That was a nice shot. The pressure of attending post-secondary school is continuing to rise as the job market is beginning to become much more competitive. This gives students no option but to receive a degree or diploma even if it was not in their original plans. Stress levels are rising and students' performances are dropping despite the inflation of grades. I am going to school next year. Yeah, but what would your parents think if you didn't want to? Would they, they allow that? They would be a they would be upset, but if it's something that I really wanted and I think if I had something to do otherwise than like not going to school. Do you mean like taking a gap year? No, or? just like not I'm continuing starting, education. starting working right after high school. They would not be happy. They wouldn't allow me yeah, to. Yeah, they would allow me to. Why? Because I have to. Yeah. I, like, my parents said that education would come first and stuff. Um, I don't think they'd be happy with me. I think that they want me to go to university or college just because they think I'd be at an advantage compared to if I didn't. Um, I actually talked about it with them and they didn't allow it. Um, I think if I had like a greater plan and it was like I wasn't putting all my eggs in one basket then they'd let me. They knew it was going to work out but um, they won't let me. Um, depending on what I do, I think my mom would be um, I should be okay with it in a way. I use, if I use my time wisely and I like, um, like I set goals for myself and uh, achieve those goals, I think she'll be okay with it. For me, I feel like if they feel I'm doing something that I really enjoy doing, then they won't be mad about it. Like mad about it. Obviously, they feel like I'd be making. Fun. It is an ongoing trend that students aren't necessarily fulfilling their dreams because they must follow the norm of society in order to be successful. For me, it's what I want to do because that's what's going to lead me to my career goals and that's the, the best way to, to get to them. So for me, it's what I want to do. Well, both. I mean, I don't think I know everything yet and I think that I have to go through a lot of experience to experiences to find what I want to do and I um, and I think that university would be a really great path for me to start finding what I really want to do in life. Like right now I don't really know but like I think I feel like it's something I need to do but I feel like when I actually get to experience university and know what like know what it's like because I'm going next year then like I probably will realize that it's something I do actually want to do. Um, I think both honestly I think especially in today's economy you're way better off having an education and having something to offer. I think both. Like, I feel like it's the right thing to do, but also I want to do it because I want to learn more things. I also want to continue on because I want to the high level of competition in school has led to heavy reliance on grades. This causes inflation as students do all they can in order to increase their mark. But what does a grade really mean? Um, whether or not you get a degree or not, I don't think a number on a page defines how well you do. However, if there's hard work put into it, I expect to see results. We learn differently. Uh, some people learn better with hands-on, others learn better with theories, so it all depends. Awesome.
feel like you won't be successful if you don't go to university or college? No. no. To me, being successful is to achieve what you want in life. So it's different for some people. So some people, their definition of being successful is having a lot of money. Others is uh, being able to spend time with their family. To me, being successful is to be able to provide for my family. That's all it is. Yes. Um, it depends, I think, on the person or like what they want to do. But like for me personally, I think I just need to continue on to be successful. Student stress levels have been rising over the years, causing students to decline in academic performance. Parents have added to the stress by pressuring their children to attend post-secondary school. A poll revealed that 73% of teachers considered school far more stressful for students than in previous decades, which is linked to rising suicide rates in students. There's a lot of pressure to be successful and to grow up making a lot of money to live in this area. I'm a big fan of John Taylor Gatto. He's a, my favorite educator, writer on public schools. He was in New York City and New York State. Always got the best results, and that's why he was able to keep teaching for 30 years, even though he was uh, uh, unorthodox. And uh, but what he had, what he had in common in teaching in these different schools was he had what was called a guerrilla curriculum. And not like a gorilla, like an ape, but like a gorilla, like a freedom fighter. And what that meant was that he mostly had the kids out of the schools. They, they mostly didn't go to school. They mostly spent their time in the communities, doing projects, doing apprenticeships, doing mentorships, uh, doing research and investigation, that kind of thing. And, uh, uh, and it was based on the idea that, you know, young people are natural learners, naturally curious and interested, naturally motivated to do things that are meaningful, uh, uh, naturally inclined that way out of their own self-directedness, you know. In contrast to that, the schools are designed exactly to stop people from being self-determining. They're designed exactly to stop people from being independent producers and make them into agents or slaves or minions of other people who are producers. Meaning in the time of the design of this system, that meant either the government authorities or the military authorities or the corporate authorities, the factory owners. I feel, based on my experiences at York Mills, that there might be more pressure now um, than when I was in school. I don't know, my parents didn't really pressure me in any way. They kind of let me decide what I wanted to do, so I didn't feel that pressure, but I kind of feel like definitely there's more pressure for high marks now, um, especially getting into undergrad right out of high school. Definitely. Um, basically, you could have a pretty cool. Basically, you have a perfectly good career without going to university. I went to a school that was, uh, I went to school in Barrett Central for high school, that's why I left a private school system. And I doubt that more than 15% of our school went to university, and it was the academic school in the city. Um, pretty much if you want to go to university when I was your age, you could go. I think that now, for students, it's a necessity. Um, high school degree is, while it's wonderful, it's not enough. Um, uh, uh, undergrad degree is now considered what a high school degree is, or a high school diploma. Um, in my day, going to university, most of the students did go to university, but it wasn't a necessity the way it is now. They're more pressure now than when, they were, than when I was in school, because when I was in school growing up, 
uh, you could have finished high school and get your grade 12 diploma and you were able to find a job the next day. And uh, so jobs were plentiful and you could have found any type of job you wanted. I know, I can tell you. Yeah. You know, when I first came to Canada, I, there was jobs coming to me left, right and centre. I was refusing them. And it was the same thing as kids uh, graduating from high school, you know, and then they, you know, they graduated from grade 12 and they found themselves a, a good job and they built their career from there. But today, oh no, there's no jobs out there.